a weight sample of crystalline sodium carbonate was heated in a crucible until there was no further change in mass. The mass of the sample reduced by 14.5%. Calculate the number of moles or n of water of crystallization in this salt. So we want to calculate the number of n, the number of water of crystallization in this water. So this one should be water. Water. So first, we need to know initially when it, it had water of crystallization, hydrated, it had a hundred percent. Now, after being heated, the mass reduced by 14.5%, meaning uh, we have remained with an hydras, which is now 85.5. So, if you minus 14.5 here, you get 85.5. Now, it means that the anhydrous calcium, uh, sodium carbonate, the one that remained is 85.5 after water, 14.5% water of crystallization evaporated. So, having that in mind, now we have the element, the compound. The compound here is sodium carbonate, anhydrous, and then we have N waters. Mass by percent. This one is 85.5 and the water is 14.5. RFM. Sodium is 106. Water is 18. Number of moles, 85.5 divided by this, you would get 0 0.807. Uh, this one, you will get 0 0.8056. Uh, the more ratio, more ratio is 1 to 1, meaning that the value of N here is 1. So N equal to 1. In an experiment, 30 centimeters of cube of 0 0.1 molar sulfuric acid were reacted with 30 centimeters of 0 0.1 molar sodium hydroxide. Write an equation for the reaction that took place. Reaction for the reaction, the reaction uh, that is sodium hydroxide thing with sulfuric acid. You need to balance the equation because you have been asked to write an equation. You must write the status aqueous, 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 and this is liquid water. It's water. Study the observation that were made when both blue and red litmus paper were dipped into the mixture. Ah, uh, this question can really be confusing because some people think, some students could imagine that 30 centimeters cube of 0 0.1 mora reacted completely with 30 centimeters cube of 0 0.1 because the molarity seems to be the same, the, the molarity is the same, the volume used is 30, 30, therefore they could think that the reaction will go to completion and the neutralization product will be available. But um, the contrary, First, the, for you to know the liquid with any, any uh, reactant that was in excess, you must calculate the number of moles of each before you conclude. So first, let us see the number of moles of sodium hydroxide that reacted with sulfuric acid, and then we will be able to conclude. So first, moles, before we write the observation, you should know, is there any reactant that was in excess or not? Moles... 
of sodium hydroxide used was that is uh, you can get that on is 30 divided by a thousand which is equal to 0 0.03 so moles of sodium hydroxide is this one right and then moles of sulfuric acid that reacted with sodium hydroxide. although we put this one this was the one we were given let us see the one that reacted with this 0 0.03 moles the ratio is 1 to 1 to 2 meaning moles of sodium sulf of potassium sulf, ah, of sulfuric acid is a half Right, but the number of moles of sulfuric acid that this one moles of sulfuric acid here was is 0 0.03 moles sulfuric acid initially right so you can see the moles that reacted with sodium hydroxide is 0 0.015 reacted with 0 0.03 meaning now the acid was in excess Therefore, you conclude that say that the blue litmus paper changes to red while red remains red. Give a reason for your answer in B above. The acid. was in excess and the end solution and the resultant solution was acidic The resultant solution was acidic. Calculate, calculate the amount of calcium carbonate that would remain if 15 grams of calcium carbonate were reacted with 0 0.2 moles of hydrochloric acid. The equation for the reaction is, so, is shown below. So we have been given the equation there. We need to calculate the mass that remained so we can also use two methods let us start with the first one so moles of hcl we have been given 0 0.2 moles since the ratio is 1 to 2 so the carbonate the carbonate and the acid, the ratio is 1 to 2. So moles of calcium carbonate is 0 0.1 a half of this because the ratio is 1 to 2. Yes. Now since we have the number of moles of the carbonate, we can get the mass. How do you get mass? Mass of the carb calcium carbonate used is equal to moles is equal to moles times rfm so 0 0.1 times the rfm calcium carbonate that is 40 40 plus 12 plus 48 that is 100 times 100 uh, this one will give you 10 grams so 10 grams was used but initially the amount of calcium that would that it was put to the reaction is 15 therefore 10 has been used how much how much how much gram that is remaining how much gram that is remaining that is 15 minus 10 5 grams remained that is the simplest way we can do it we can also that is method one 
There is another way you can do it. Let us do it method 2. Method 2 there. So we will say moles of H of HCl equal to 0 0.02. Therefore moles of calcium carbonate equal to 0 0.01 equals to 0, 0 0.2 0 0.2 and this one would be 0 0.1 because the ratio is 1 to 2 right the rfm of calcium carbonate equal to 100 yes so moles of calcium carbonate the total equal to 15 over 100 and that is 0 0.15 moles because they used the, 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 the mass that was put uh, to react with uh, this one is 15 the mass that react uh, that was expected to react with the HCl is 15 but not all of it that reacted right so it is 0 0.15 so now we know the mass, the number of moles of moles that reacted with the HCl is 0 0.1. We know the original uh, moles was 0 0.015. Now we can get the difference 0 0.15 minus 0 0.1 that reacted with the HCl. We will get 0 0.05 moles. So this is the moles in, that was in excess, right? So mass equal to 100. RFM times 0 0.05 and this one will give you 5 grams a compound has an empirical formula of C3H6 oxygen and a relative formula mass of 16 determine its molecular formula determine its molecular formula we know that mass of empirical formula empirical formula times n will give us relative formula mass relative formula mass that's what we know mass of an empirical formula times n will give us relative formula mass so the empirical formula we have is C3H6O. We multiply this times N, will give us the relative molecular mass, relative formula mass, which is 116. So this is 12 times 3, that is 6 plus 6, 42 plus 16, so it will give us 58. 58N times that, 58N is equal to 116. So divided by 58, divided by 58 and the n equal to 2 so c3 h a 6 o times 2 we give us c6 h12 o2 and that is that is the molecular formula calculate the percentage composition of carbon by mass in the compound so that we want to calculate the percentage of carbon only. So carbon, there are six of them. So six times 12. That one gives us 72. Divided by the total. The total molecular mass is 100, 116 times 100. And that one will give you, will give us 62.07%. percent Zinc metal and hydro, hydrochloric acid reacts according to the equation below. This is the equation. One nine one nine six grams of zinc metal rea were reacted with one hundred centimeters cube of zero point two mora hydrochloric acid. Yes. What is the question? The question is determine. The question will disappear here. Determine 
the question is determine the reagent that was that was in excess so moles of HCl used we can get 0 0.2 is the number of moles in one liter you will ask 100 centimeters cube of the will contain how many moles so it is 100 times 0 0.2 divided by a thousand and that one will give us 0 0.02 moles right now moles of zinc moles of zinc will be equal to because we have the mass 1.96 divided by the rfm because we have been given the rfm which is 65.4 this one is 0 0.02997 but moles but moles that reacted moles of hcl or moles of hcl moles of zinc that reacted with hcl is given because the ratio is 1 to 2 so it will be a half. Moles of the zinc that reacted with this here is 0 0.01. Right? Because the ratio is 1 to 2. Therefore, zinc was in excess. Zinc was in excess. Part B of question 16. Calculate the total volume of hydrogenic gas, hydrogen gas that was liberated at STP. Zinc is this and the, the volume at STP is 22.4 liters. We know the any volume, any, uh, any gas, uh, hydrogen, the number of moles of hydrogen was 0 0.01. So, 0 0.01 of hydrogen was produced. But we know that one mole of hydrogen gas at STP contains 2.4 liters. So, we will ask 0 0.01 moles of this will contain how much so 0 0.01 times 22.4 divided by 1 that one will give us 0 0.224 liters or 224 centimeters cube In an experiment, 2.4 grams of sulfur was obtained by reacting hydrogen sulfide and chlorine, ga chlorine gas as shown in the equation. Write the which of the reactants act as a re reducing agent in the above reaction. Explain. So hydrogen sulfide is the reducing. Hydrogen sulfide is the reducing agent because the oxidation the oxidation number of sulfur increases increased from negative 2 to 0 so when you want to know 
uh, the reactant which is uh, redu the reducing agent or oxidizing agent for the oxidizing agent oxidation will decrease for if it is an oxidizing agent the oxidation number will decrease to the right if it is an oxidizing uh, reducing agent the oxidation number will increase will increase so you just calculate the oxidation number and you will be able to see the one that is increasing is a reducing agent. The one that is decreasing is an oxidizing agent. Given that the yield of sulfur in the above reaction is 75%, calculate the number of moles of hydrogen sulfide gas used in the reaction. So there we see 75%. So what would be the number of, uh, what would be 100 percent? So 75 percent equal to 2.4 grams. So we want 100 percent. This one equal to 3.2 grams. So moles of moles of sulfur used moles of sulfur used equal to mass 3.2 divided by 32 and that one is 0 0.1 from the equation the more ratio of the sulfur and the hydrogen sulfide is one to one more ratio one to one so moles of hydrogen sulfide equal to 0 0.1 also Calculate the number of moles, we have already finished that. Zero point six three grams of lead powder was dissolved in excess nitric five acid to form lead nitrate solution. Or the lead nitrate solution was reacted with sodium sulfate solution. Write an ionic equation write an ionic equation for the reaction between lead nitrate and sodium sulfate so we are going to form lead lead sulfate so we know then therefore the ionic equation is lead to ions aqueous plus the sulfate which is going to form which is aqueous lead sulfate which is a solid that is now you write it directly let us look at part P of the question. Part P. Determine the mass of, tot of the lead salt formed in A above. The mass of lead that was formed. So, moles of lead of lead nitrate will be equal to 0, 0.0 zero three how we can get the number of moles of lead first so lead the moles of lead is zero point six three divided by the rfm because this is the mass that was used two or seven which will be zero point zero zero three right now since these are the red ions determine the mass of the red salt so the ratio, the ratio is one to one. Therefore, we are going to get this is moles. Mass equal to moles times RFM. So the RFM of the red nitrate is three hundred and three. You add everything here, you get three o three. So zero point zero three times three hundred and three. You get zero point nine. Two, two grams calculate the mass of nitrogen oxide gas that could occupy the same volume as 10 grams of hydrogen gas at same temperature and pressure at the same temperature and pressure so there's nothing that's going to change so moles of hydrogen equal to mass 
over FM. The mass of hydrogen is 10. RFM of hydrogen is 2. So it is 5 moles. Moles of nitrogen 4 equal to 5 moles. Why? Because they are uh, at the same temperature, pressure. Right. So the number of moles of that would be. So what is RFM of nitrogen 2 equal to 46? So mass of nitrogen 4, this is nitrogen 4, of nitrogen 4 equal to 5 times 46, and that one is 230 grams. On complete combustion of a sample of hydrocarbon, 3.5 grams of carbon, carbon dioxide, and 1.44 grams of water was formed. Determine the molecular formula of the hydrocarbon. It is like the one we did. So first, the mass of carbon equal to carbon in carbon dioxide is that is carbon which is 12 over the total which is 44 times the mass which is 3.52 and it's going to give us 0 0.96 in water we have hydrogen and it is the hydrogen we want so hydrogen equal to 2 in water over 18 times 1.44 it's going to give us 0 0.16 uh, now we calculate the empirical formula element carbon hydrogen mass in grams this one is 0 0.96 this one is 0 0.16 mm, rm rm is 12 1 moles this one is 0 0.08 and this one is 0 0.16 ratio it is 1 to 2. So we will have CH2. But we have the molecular or the relative molecular mass to be 56. So we want to. So CH32 times N, the answer is 56. This one is 14N equal to 56. 45, 14, 45, 14. So N equal to 4. So CH2. 4, it will give us C, it will give us C, 4, H, 8, and that is the molecular formula. Thank you.